Good morning, Peter. Hello. Hello, mate. I need a couple of spare keys, mate. I'll give you registration. Um, Papa Kilo 63. Yeah. One come up. T R O to Tango Romeo 0 to Romeo. One come up. Right, I'm gonna have to go and get the uh, chassis number then, mate, and I'll, I'll ring you back. Okay. Good morning. This is the 28th of March. We are here about to change the ABS sensor. We've got a faulty ABS sensor on the back of the lorry, and we're about to change it. Oh, tyre's flat. Must be the rim. It's a brand new tyre. The tyre can't be flat already. But we'll obviously jack it up and have a look. We've just changed it. A brand new tyre. But we'll see what happens. We'll have a look. Hi, Peter, it's me again. Right, mate, I've got a uh, chassis number, mate. It is. No, mate, no, not that I know of. ordered some spare keys because we've got no spare keys for the trunk. We don't want no misdemeanors, do we? Not having no keys, so... How many ordered? Two. So we've got three? We've got three keys, we'll have. Nice. Just to get under it a bit easier. Let's see what happens. But we've run it, we'll just let it idle for a few for 10 minutes, okay? Why? Uh, you know, just no good switching it on, switching it off all the time. If we let weight hang off the ignition barrel, we'll end up putting an ignition barrel on it. Okay. How's it looking? Change the battery needs to go flat. It's also flat. Fortunately, that's fully charged.
old Milwaukee does have its limitations. out working we'll put some distant pads on it later Try, see how lucky we are. Pretty much, almost guaranteed for it not to come out like this. But you never know your luck. in the back of here. Just as nice and free.
Means we've got a problem here somewhere. The threads. You shouldn't be like this at the end. Bolts we want. However, very impressed. If you want to buy a half inch gun, Milwaukee. Did it work? Whoa, nice nut. What's Ooh. wrong with that? I, I, I thread, like threads gone at the Just top of it. Just picked up a thread there. Mm. Which means this job again to finish today. But we've got to get the caliper off. We've got to get the caliper off. We've got to decide whether the threads in the caliper are knackered or whether it's just the bolt. I would say the threads in the caliper are knackered and we'll have to get a new caliper. There's only one way of finding out. Let's continue taking it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to wind the chamber off. What this is going to do is we can put the part right back on then and this brake won't do anything because the chamber will be back. Okay, we can now put the part right back on on the truck. The well, I won't roll off. The brake is still like this. I'm now going to take the chamber off and have it out of the way. I'm going to undo this here. I wish I could do the little extension. If you want a half inch battery gun, Milwaukee is just a brilliant gun, okay? Easy. Get a, is hit that off, but if we hit it with a normal hammer, we'll probably get that off with a copper hammer. Those chambers. This is the pad wear sensor. We're going to take the pad wear sensor out. Right? My original plan was just to undo the caliper and just rest it all back there while we take the hub off. But because we've got a problem, we're now going to take the caliper physically off. Something that happens a lot of the time on these is when you take these uh, when you take these pad wear sensors out, we end up disturbing it, and then you'll have check brakes at next stop on your dash because I've disturbed it. And it now it's a sensor, which we have to be perfectly prepared to do, don't we? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we now own a truck, and trucks require constant maintenance. And one thing you can guarantee. So if I whinge and moan because uh, the warning comes on, it's because of this. We'll, we'll know straight away, yeah, we'll sort it out straight away. It's just going to spend more money. Yeah. Okay, that nicely. See, that's a pad wear sensor. Thing that measures how much brakes you've got left, and the, I don't want to lose that clip there. Let's continue to take off the remaining bottom bolt. Of course, I have put an axle stand underneath, so don't you worry. Thank you. 
So they all come out like that one came out, I'll be happy. On there, and I can't get it on the spanner on properly. One more bolt. I hope we can squeeze a bolt. I hope that's all it wants. And not a caliper. But if it wants a caliper, what can we do? moment of truth. See the threads go up to the top of here? Uh, yeah. That's a good one. That's the bad one, can you see it? Yeah, we need a new one. We need a new calipher, yeah. Oh well, we can keep changing the sound there, can't we? Right, mate. I need a brake caliper. Um, it's a Volvo F8, 13 plate. Registration is, it's got a private plate in it. I hope it goes in. It's Tango Romeo 02. I'm now going to take the hub off. So in order to take the hub off, we've got to undo these ring nuts here. Take the half shaft out, undo the hub nut slide the hub and disc off as one and then tap the sensor up See inside here there's these little tiny collet washers and they're terrible for pinging off and getting lost. Mm -hmm. So what we do now is we're going to tap it here around each one, these collet washers will pop out then we'll take everything off so we don't lose nothing.
oil come out of here now because of course this is the diff and it's full of axle oil. It's a diff. The diff is that big round bell thing in there which obviously transfers the power from the engine through the back axle. Next job, we're going to undo this little circle up here, take the cap off and undo it. It's a bit damaged. Could do this diff oil change really, but we'll do that in due course. Circle pliers. Circle it, safety goggles on. Locking ring. Now we just gotta undo that. We obviously won't be putting that back on before we clean it. There's a little ring in here. There we go. And there is the sensor. Sometimes these pole wheels, see this little ring here, sometimes they snap and break. There we go, there's the uh, hub and everything off it. The exciter ring is okay. We've simply now got to tap the uh, old sensor out and put the new sensor in. The old sensor will probably just fall apart. Yes, that's 
sensor is never coming out of there. One broken ABS sensor. This is a little copper cage that there we go. You got a new one? No, have you bought one? No, have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our new ABS sensor. See a new sensor, new cage, a little bit of grease to assist putting it in. Like you need more grease. <laughs> so we could do this sand out a little bit, but I'm gonna sand it. <laughs> so we get that. Don't break it. It's just like There should be a one millimetre gap in between the sensor, the end of the sensor, and the exciter ring in there. We're, there's no way we can physically see in there and check a one millimetre gap. So, what we do is we fit the sensor and we'll leave it out a little bit. Then we'll put the hub on, fit the hub, torque the hub nut up, and then we'll tap the sensor in until it stops, very lightly tap it in. We'll put a little bit of grease. This is a special kind of grease. This is. Um, What happens to this grease is that it dries, a bit like tyre paste. It dries and becomes a chalk. Because obviously we don't want the sensor coming out, do we? Because it comes out, we have to do we? Up there. This is going to get plugged in up here. In fact, what I'd like to do is just we'll do this section next. Off. Right, we're going to plug the ABS sensor in before we go any further. You know, you never know, they might have ordered me the wrong ABS sensor and all this work might be nothing. So we're going to unclip all the cable ties.
So before we're putting uh, the wheel on, can you test it at once? Um, no, we have to drive it. Mm -hmm. With any ABS, you have to take it for a spin. So if it's not right, we're going to take the whole thing off again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's got to be done because there's water will get in there. We're now going to put the hub back on and tuck the hub nut up. clean Too much because now we're 
good. Okay. And there we have good suspension, it's free. No play in it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap the sensor into the pole wheel until it stops very lightly tap it in. Where's my hammer gone? Mm. How do you know when to stop? Because it'll stop, it'll just stop by itself. Just like that. Nice and clean, please. Nice and clean. Do you want any Mr. Miller's whilst I'm driving? Exactly. It's only going to be a hard phone call for you. I know, exactly. Hi, girl. Got broken down. The wheel fell out. Gosh, it costs a lot of money to get it done. In. Now we'll fit the half shaft. What does it do? So the engine goes onto the gearbox. Gearbox then goes onto the prop shaft. Mm -hmm. Prop shaft runs down the end, down to the diff. Goes from the diff to the half shaft, half shaft to the hub, mm -hmm. and onto the wheel. Basically, it connects to the engine and rotates the wheels. Yes, yeah, so it transfers oh, yeah. all power down to My trucker is so clever. I mean, you're cleverer than him. Yeah, he's pretty clever. But somebody obviously designed it and... For shizzles. That it. person's cleverest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done. ABS sensor fitted. We now can't go any further until we've got a new brake caliper. Let's have a look at that puncture now. Pump it up and uh, try and see if we can see a leak from somewhere. I'm going to pump this tyre up first and get the jack underneath it, take the wheel off. Could be just the rim. It could be the rim. Is the rim better than the leak or not? No, I'd rather than the leak because the rim entails spending more money. Just man, it's close. Let's go start it up, but.
gonna make it look so easy. <laughs> In the nails coming. It must be the rim. Look at that. Oh, the rim's okay. cracked. See it? Yeah. How did it crack? It's just stacking on the rim. It's not me driving, is it? No. Can you order one? Hello mate, um, I've got an order coming in tomorrow for a load of alloy wheels, some commercials. I need to add something to it mate, I need to add a, a steel rim to it. Obviously I'll pay the extra. Steel rim, 22 and a half inch by 9 inch. Yeah, it's going to go on the on, on Volvo FH front axle. Bear annoying that. That is. That is bear annoying. Now we've got wheel, no wheel on the front, no wheel on the back. My new wheels! It's a good tyre, this rim is cracked. This is a bad tyre, and this is a good rim. So we're going to put this tyre on this rim. <laughs>
dokey. That's where all the bad tires go. I did it. It took me a good 30 minutes to do that. I needed it in seconds. Well, I'll practice more, okay? All day, every day. Yeah. We have changed a the new tire onto an old rim. It's a bit of a scabby rim, but uh, this is the quickest one that we can get hold of. At least it's not leaking, it's not going to break. Uh, and um, yeah, we'll spray it up, we'll give it a look at paint, and it'll look brand new. When you put your foot brake on, that's what's putting the pressure down into the pads. Is that the bolt that was broken? No. But it's one of them. It's one of them. I think I sent you the wrong colour. I wanted it pink.
latest or the all of them new? I have ordered them all new. Oh really? There is six of them coming. Just leave them off for now. We'll put new ones. Can you see how the end of the bolt? Can you see how it's uh, just rusty? That is the result of bad thread. It's just pull the threads out and that's why we've ordered six more. Brand new bolts coming straight from Volvo. Fairly cheap on the way. I ordered some caliper bolts. They said they were coming today. I was just chasing them up. I'm a bit desperate for them. Do you know how long right, they're going to be? Hello, mate. Right, they're on the van. They did come in and they're on the way to you. Oh, great. They're my new bolts. These are your new bolts. Where sensor goes near, it's just a little cap that needs to come out.
That's on caliper bolts with tight top and bottom halfway sensor. Very interesting. Cable tied up, that's in there, that's from the cable tied up. Brakes are adjusted up, pop the wheels back on. Start it up, build the air up on it and wind the brakes back on. Start it up, release the handbrake, then we'll wind the brake back on, then you put the handbrake back on again after. Thank you so much. <laughs> I need them today because I'm just fixing oh, okay. my back tire. Did you see? Yeah. Who are you working for now? 
H and H. H and H. Oh yeah, say hello. There's Paul. It's, it's, uh, uh, there's another J. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know a couple of people like that. Yeah, Mick is your husband. <laughs> I didn't yeah. see the name on the. Yeah, yeah. You should be Mick Tracker. Clean the tracker, Mick Tracker. No, he's a truck mechanic. Truck. <laughs> Thanks, Mitaias. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks for having Fantastic, well. fantastic. Nice to see you. Track on, Is on. it good to work for them? Yeah. No nice. It's easy. Gotta do work now, gotta do work. Just want to re gas. Um, I suppose you could come out and have a look at it. Right. Wouldn't be until Friday. That's fine, mate. That sounds a power, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, Science Express. Hello mate, uh, I need a couple of vehicles signing up. A little sign that goes above a truck, a Volvo FH. And it's where it says glow chopper above the, above the windscreen. I need, a, I need a sticker doing for that. What kind of information do you need? Do you need to see the vehicle? You can do, yeah. Will that be okay? When's a good time to bring it down? A Wednesday afternoon. Let's do that, perfect. Brake test is not a Um... <laughs> 